Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Violet and this is my service dog in training, Atlas. He's a one and a half year old golden retriever. Um, he's panting because we just went and um, had a sniffy walk and played fetch. But we um, kind of decided to do like an on the fly training session. He has his vest, I always bring it just in case. But I don't think I'm going to have him wear it just because we're just going to be working outside. But I do have his working leash that has his service dog leash wrap. Um, so I'm just going to use this to signify and hopefully people will get the message. The plan is, is just to sit because this is like a big outdoor shopping type of area. Um, and it is Sunday, so it is really, really, really busy. It's actually abnormally busy. <laughs> um, I don't know what's going on here. Maybe there's something going on that I'm not aware of, but I figured it'd be a good time and a good uh, training session to just sit outside and kind of people watch and reward him for checking in with me. Um, bonus for their being dogs, because like I said, I want to have him work around um, dog distractions a little more. So hopefully there, there will be that. Um, but we'll see how it goes. I think it shouldn't be too bad. Um, we've done this before when he was younger, but usually we used to go in the morning. So it typically wasn't that busy and he's ready to go. So he's like pacing. But anyways, um, I just want to add that sometimes training a dog doesn't always look like you know walking around and doing spins and being fancy and really active sometimes training a dog is just sitting there letting them settle letting them people watch letting them auto check in and while just staying put um and i might even try to work on him just standing there as well because like i said in my last video he has issues with just standing there and keeping his place he gets kind of antsy so maybe we'll work on that too and yeah um Let's get into the video. We'll see you there. Oh, and before I forget, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It really does help. And we are almost at 400 subscribers on my channel, which is insane to me. Um, and I, again, I really just want to build a community on this channel and um, create a safe space for everyone. And yeah, I can't wait to see where this channel goes. And I appreciate all of you. And yeah. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and now let's get into the video. Leave it. So that clip, um, Atlas and I were walking down an alley and there are some benches and I didn't notice that a guy was sitting there and he had a little French bulldog, which I also didn't see. Um, I just noticed Atlas's ears perking up and I wasn't sure why. And then all of a sudden I hear scratching on the ground and I realize that there is a little dog trying to like charge at us on his flexi leash and you can hear the guy say stop it you can hear the like scratching of the claws um but i just wanted to kind of narrate what was going on there yes good job he's really interested in my god yes good So there was a guy that was sweeping, um, a janitor or a custodian was sweeping, um, which we haven't really come across in real life. I've slept around him at home 
and the guy ended up getting closer and sweeping a wrapper that was right in front of us that I didn't even notice. It was like a straw wrapper and it startled Atlas, um, but he recouped quickly. I had to sternly tell him, leave it. And then he looked back to me and I treated him. But what you saw there after the fact was that he kept staring at the custodian um, until he reached around the corner, he, he couldn't see him anymore. Um, and that is something I'm gonna have to work with him on. I've noticed that after I praise him and give him treats, after I tell him to leave something, he'll go right back to staring at it, unless if I tell him, leave it as it is. So it's like, oh, I got my treat. I can continue looking at that guy. And I'm not really sure how to teach that out of him, but um, I notice he's been doing that more and more and I'm not a fan. <laughs> um, I want him to understand that leave it means leave it. It doesn't mean leave it for a second, get your treat, and then go ahead and continue staring at that thing. Um, so that's another thing we're gonna have to work on. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Good boy. Yes. 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 Leave it. Yes. Yes, good job. That was a good one, good boy. Are you happy? Here he starts sniffing the ground. Um, it's so funny because he doesn't do this when he's in his vest. Um, that vest is truly like an on and off switch for him to work. Um, so I had to tell him, leave it. And then he finally left. I told him, leave it twice. Told him, good boy. Um, and then here I'm just telling him, you're working. Work, work, because he understands. Work means vest usually so i want him to kind of have it click like you are working even though you're not vested and i feel like this is something we should work on is him working even when he's not vested and here i am opting to reward him with praise and pets instead of treats um, i am trying to slowly use less and less treats with him um, and I won't ever not use treats with him just because I feel like that is one of his favorite currencies. Um, you know, I, I personally wouldn't like to work if I wasn't getting paid, so I will never not have some treats. Not that praise and pets isn't rewarding for him or like currency to him, it's just treats I feel like really solidify that he's doing a good job and to keep doing what he's doing. But um, that is what I'm doing here is that I'm intermittently using treats and um, going back and forth between praise and pets and treats. So that's what you'll see me doing periodically here.
We're in training. I had to go to the city also. Exactly. Nice. Yeah. 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 This time around, I feel like he did a lot better when it came to not uh, continually watching someone or a dog or whatever it may be um, until they pass a corner and he can't see them anymore. I feel like he did a lot better and I feel like it helped that I withheld treats until they were out of sight um, so that he could keep his focus on me. So that's already a little bit of an improvement from when we first began. Um, so it's just a matter of me keeping up with that criteria and keeping up with um, the timing of those treats. Good boy. Good job. Leave it. Here. Good boy. Good job. Heel. Ah, ah. Good. Finish. Heel. Good. Better. And that is it for today's video. Um, I feel like he did okay. He could do better. I just noticed a couple issues with him personally during that training outing that I would like to work on. Um, he did okay. I feel like had he worn his vest, he would have acted a little differently because truly I've always used his vest as an on off switch for working mode. And I feel like he was a little confused that I was asking him to be in work mode without his vest on, if that makes sense. Um, which I feel like we should do this a little more often um, without him being vested, just to work on his focus off duty. When he's at home, he still tasks like he's supposed to and everything. And But when he's out in public without his vest, he's like a totally different dog. Um, he's like a puppy but yeah skateboards he's been good with bikes um because he hasn't really been around a whole lot of skateboards um he's probably only seen about a handful in his life <laughs> so skateboards are something we'll have to work on but it's kind of hard because there's not really much of an opportunity around here for that but just a couple of things that i made a mental note of that i'll write down once i get back home but one thing I do want to work on with him is not treating him as much. I'll always have treats because I feel like that's, you know, it's his form of payment. And who would want to work without getting paid every once in a while, you know? So, but I don't want to be constantly giving him treats like I have been. Again, because I've 
kind of went backwards in his training. He was mostly weaned off of treats and then he kind of went downhill with his training a little because adolescence and also on my part as well because I lost motivation and I had a really bad um, flare of fatigue and flare of my issues. So we're kind of a little behind in that aspect and so I had to reintroduce kind of jackpotting treats again but I'll have to slowly wean off of that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of um, a little different. But yeah, like I said, I just wanted to show kind of a different side of dog training, service dog training. It's not always a physically active thing. Sometimes it just requires you to sit there while your dog settles. He's good on settling, so that's not what this training session was about. It was more so about focusing on me, giving that autofocus without me having to ask. I did have to ask a couple times because he would not get his focus off of some people. I also noticed that he sometimes sniffs the air when people walk by and I feel like he used to not have that issue but again because he's in this teenage phase it's like these new behaviors keep cropping up like sniffing the air when people pass or being overly focused on people when they walk by until they're out of sight like when somebody would be walking by he would kind of stare at them and then once they were gone around the corner he would look at me and expect a treat i kind of noticed this towards the middle or end of that session so that is something that i'm going to have to work on with him is that you don't get a treat unless if you focus on me from the beginning not stare at the person they walk out of sight and then you give me your attention because you want a treat that's not how that works so we got a work cut out for us even more work than we already did um sometimes i feel like he does so good and we do so good as a team and and then suddenly more issues come up it's like once you get over one hurdle with them and problem solve with them and get them over an issue that they have there's a whole other issue that crops up especially when they're teenagers and it, it is quite frankly exhausting it's sometimes a little discouraging to deal with what can you do all you can do is just have patience and take it day by day i suppose and not let it run you down it's important as handlers for us to take breaks when we need it if we get frustrated to remove ourselves from the situation to remove ourselves from our dogs if we need to um to take breathers to even you know take a break you, like you don't have to train every single day you can take a break one day and just stay at home if you need to or you know focus on bonding with your dog and play with them and bring them on a sniffy walk it doesn't always have to be training every single day because we will burn out I feel like the motto of get out there and train your dog every single day is kind of not realistic for us who have service dogs and are disabled um, for many reasons, but burnout is real with everything. If you do something too much, you're going to get burnout. So just remember, it's important to take care of yourselves. It's important to take a break every once in a while, but don't let it slide and lose motivation and not train for like weeks or months on end. But do take, you know, a day to have self-care or, you know, focus on bonding with your dog more if you feel like you need that. Um, because training can be frustrating and you know, that frustration can travel through the leash. So I'll get off of my soapbox, but yeah, just remember as handlers to also take care of yourselves and take the breaks that you need. And remember to always be kind to yourself. Remember to be <laughs> kind and patient to your dog as well, because they are trying their hardest. Even if it feels like they are being an obstinate teenager, they are trying their best still. So yeah, um, with that, I'm going to end the video, but please remember to be kind to yourselves, drink water, take your meds, take your vitamins if you need, take a day off if you need, rest, sleep, play a game, <laughs> read, whatever you like to do, draw, but yeah, just take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.